Hi there you guys! Summer is coming and July morning is coming. That is why today I'll show you how to make in easy steps these seashore fringe seed beads earrings. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell. If you want to support me, please like, share and comment and you might become a member as well. This comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. I was told at school that I'm not a creative person at all, so if I can do what you see here, I'm sure that everybody could. That is why continue watching. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 7 colors of 11 o seed beads, black, yellow, orange, red, turquoise, white and blue. If you don't have turquoise and blue, you could use only one of those if you want. Here I'm using Nymo Nylon Thread, that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. These are earring findings. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 12 or 10, the smaller sizes are easier to work with. I use scissors and I use flat nose pliers. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up four of those beautiful orange beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pull. And then make just one more knot to be sure it's all tight and secure. And I go again in this orange. I take two more orange beads. And I go back in circle through these two orange beads. The second two. Now I have this. And again I go through these orange beads again. Then I take two more add them and go back through them And I will continue this until I have 10 columns of two orange beads, absolutely the same way. And I'll be back. And here I am, guys, where I'm adding my 10th column of two orange beads. I'm doing it absolutely the same way I showed you before. In my next step, guys, I take four orange beads. And you see these thread bridges that I have here between my beads. I will go under the second one, between the second and the third bead here. Okay, going under this thread bridge. After that, my friends, I want to go through these two orange beads in this direction, the two orange beads that are closer to the center of my work. Okay, then I want to go one more time through the first two. And then through the second two. And I have this. Then I'm taking two black beads and I go under the next thread bridge that you see here. This time I take only two 
and I go backwards through those beads. Okay, and when I pull, I fix them here. Okay, and this is called double brick stitch. If you're not familiar, it's easy and I'll show it step by step. Now make three more columns of two orange beads, one by one, okay? Go under the next thread bridge, like that. And then backwards through these two orange beads. And pull. Again, two beads go under the next thread bridge and then backwards through these two two more orange beads next thread bridge and backwards like this then yellow and orange Next thread bridge, go back, and like this, two yellow beads. Go back, and then two more yellow beads. And I'm starting my row, guys, with four yellow beads and I go under the second thread bridge between the second and the third yellow beads. Then I'll do the familiar steps, go through the two that are closer to the center of my work and reinforce by going through the first two and then backwards. When I go under the second thread bridge, I always reinforce because my beads stretch and I want to make an additional thread pad to make them stay nice and tight. Then I need two yellows. And go back through them. Two orange beads, orange and black, go backwards, again orange and black. orange and black black and orange Then I take orange, red, red, orange, and again I go under the second thread bridge. Here this works because I'm always decreasing. I always go under the second thread bridge. And by decreasing I mean that in the next row I have less beads than in the previous row. So I go under the second thread bridge. That is why I need to reinforce because otherwise my beads stretch and don't look good.
and after that two red beads red and yellow two yellow and two more yellow beads okay then I take yellow red black red I go under the second thread bridge and I do the same thing go through the two closer to the center and reinforce red and black black and red and two columns of two red beads four red beads second thread bridge and the same after that orange and red orange and red then I take four orange beads and I go under the second thread bridge okay orange and red and next thread bridge then orange and red and the following thread bridge okay then I take again four I go under the second thread bridge here repeat the same actions and two orange beads here And here guys I need to add my earring finding I take two orange beads my earring finding and two orange beads and I go back like this then through this one
and diagonally through these beads. Okay, then I go through some beads in this direction and what I want to do next is reach this part here. Maybe it will be a little bit difficult to go through some of the beads because I've been through them so many times. In this case I will use my pliers. Now guys, I'm going to start making my fringes. I'll pick up a long sequence of beads and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I took the following long sequence. Three whites, one blue, one white, one blue, one white, five blue, one white, one turquoise, one white, one turquoise, one white, five turquoise and three white beads. Okay, and this sequence from here on will repeat at each fringe. Only this number here will change. It will increase with one. So the next fringe will be with four whites and this sequence, then five whites and with this sequence, and so on until I reach 12, 12 whites and this sequence. Okay, I'll show you the first three fringes. And then I'll give you the formula to continue by yourself. Okay, now what I do is that I skip these three white beads. At the end, I don't go through them. I just skip them, you see. Then I go through as many beads as I can in this direction. And I pull tight. And now you see, this is what I have. Then I will continue the same way through all of those beads and I will reach here the first two orange beads and I will go through them and pull tight. Then I will flip in this direction and I will go here through the next two orange beads and pull again. And as I said, now I will pick up four white beads and this sequence and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and what I have here are four whites plus this absolutely the same sequence that you see written on your screens. And what I want to do is to skip these three white beads. And go backwards through all of those. Okay, and pull. Fix these beads at the end to stay in a desired, the desired shape. And then go backwards through all of those beads. Now, my friends, I will pick up five white beads and absolutely the same sequence and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and now I have five white beads plus the same sequence that I'm taking all the time and that you see written here on your screens. And now I will do absolutely the same thing. I'm skipping these white beads here at the end 
and pulling and going backwards through all of those beads okay and in my next step guys i will take six white beads and the following sequence then seven eight and so on until i reach here the last step with 12 white beads and the same sequence okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back okay guys and as i continue the same process now i'm here where i have 12 white beads and the following sequence now i will make a knot cut my thread and my earrings will be ready Okay guys, and now my hippie seashore July morning earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also, please like, share and comment. You might want to support me by becoming a member. It comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.